Hi everyone, my name is Firdos and I'm from India. I'm basically an English teacher, but being a language educator and a native Hindi speaker, I've started teaching Hindi also. So this is my first video and here in this video, I'm going to teach you how to introduce yourself. So if you're a beginner, that's great. But even if you're an intermediate, I'm sure these lessons will help you a great deal. So let's start with the video now. All right. So before beginning, I'd like to just give you this note that Hindi is a SOV language. That is, the structure of Hindi language is such that we always start with the subject, then comes the object, and then the most important thing is the verb. So the sentences in Hindi, they always end with the verb. So it's not like in English. For example, if you say that my name is Firdos in English, then in Hindi, it will be my name Firdos is. That is, we always end with the verb. So with that point in mind, let's continue with the pronouns. Let's know the pronouns and the question words first in order to um, introduce yourself and ask for others' introduction as well. Now, as you can see, we have some pronouns here. These are now the subject pronouns in Hindi that we use. There are more pronouns apart from these, which we'll cover later in uh, further lessons. So the pronouns to address the first person, that is you yourself, is me. Now here I've written the spellings in English using Roman script as well as uh, using Devanagari script. So if you are one of those who knows how to read Hindi, then uh, this is going to serve as an excellent pronunciation guide for you. Otherwise, if you don't know how to read Hindi, then just follow what I'm saying. So the first pronoun to address yourself is me. Me. That means that N at the end is only half pronounced. It is a nasal sound. And you, and, uh, you can see this dot over here. So this dot denotes this nasal sound. It's me. Similarly, for we, we say hum. It's not hum, it's hum, hum. Then to address the second person, we have three pronouns. Tu, tum, aap. And in plural, we have tum and aap. Now you being a beginner, I will suggest you to go for up. So you please stick to up. In, in case you're not familiar with these words, I'll highly recommend you to just stick to up because that is the most safest word to go for in Hindi. I'll just tell you the difference between these three pronouns. So tu is the most informal one, the casual one, which we use with our close friends and siblings. Tum is, um, it's like a level higher. So it's semi-formal, which you can use with somebody of your own age whom uh, you're familiar with or somebody even younger than you. And then aap is the most respectful word. Uh, that is the most respectful and the safest pronoun to go for to address the second person. So in both the columns, singular as well as plural, we have aap. And then to address the second person, that is it can be a person or an object we use ye and wo in both the cases even if you're talking about one thing or many we say ye or wo and the difference between ye or wo is that uh, it depends on the proximity so if something is near you then you say ye or some if somebody is near you then you say ye but if something or somebody is far from you and if you are supposed to point out to him or her then you say wo, wo. Now how to differentiate between the singular ye wo and the plural ye wo? The answer is simple. It depends on the usage of the verb form. So this is one of the most important verbs in Hindi, which is hona, hona. And now we'll look at the verb forms which we'll use with these pronouns that you just learned. So here, the first one. So once again, to address the first person, we have me hum. 
मैं हूँ दैट मीन्स इफ़ यू आर बिगिनिंग योर सेंटेंस विद मैं यू आर सपोज टू एंड योर सेंटेंस विद हूँ एंड जस्ट टू मेक इट मोर ईजी एंड क्लियर टू यू यू कैन ट्रीट इट एज एन इक्वेलेंट टू द इंग्लिश आई एम मैं हूँ इज आई एम देन इन प्लूरल हम हैं हम हैं विच मीन्स वी आर हम हैं देन एज आई टोल्ड यू यू प्लीज स्टिक टू आप सो वी आर जस्ट लुकिंग एट आप योर आप हैं आप हैं इन बोथ द केसेस सिंगुलर एज वेल एज प्लूरल बिकॉज इट मीन्स यू आर आप हैं सो दिस हैं फॉर्म इट सर्व्स टू पर्पजेस द फर्स्ट इज टू डिनोट समथिंग इन प्लूरल एंड द सेकेंड इज टू गिव रिस्पेक्ट दैट्स वाई इट्स ऑल्सो यूज हियर विथ सिंगुलर आप आप हैं आप हैं देन विथ तुम इट्स हो तुम हो तुम हो विथ तुम इट्स ऑलवेज हो एंड देन विथ तू है तू है सो है मीन्स सिंगुलर दैट इज वाई है इज ऑल्सो यूज विद ये एंड वो ये है मीन्स दिस इज वो है मीन्स दैट इज सिमिलरली नाउ विथ प्लूरल वी स्टिक टू द प्लूरल फॉर्म हैं ये हैं दीज आर वो हैं दोज आर Now, if you're a complete beginner in Hindi, no need to get overwhelmed because this is your first time, and I'm sure you'll get the hang of it once you uh, revise and practice more and more. Just look at these pronouns, learn them, and learn these verb forms, and you'll be good to go at least in present tense. Now, let's try to frame some sentences here. So here I have some very basic and simple structures which you can frame using the pronouns and the verb forms that you just learned so the first one main firdaus hu now my name is firdaus so i'm using my name here to say i am firdaus this literally means i firdaus am and i told you that in hindi all the sentences end with the verb form so this means i am firdaus मैं फिरदौस हूँ सो इंसर्ट योर नेम हियर एंड से मैं हूँ सेकेंड सेंटेंस मैं शिक्षक शिक्षिका हूँ सो शिक्षक मीन्स मेल टीचर शिक्षक शिक्षिका मीन्स फीमेल टीचर शिक्षिका and i am a female teacher so i'll say main shikshika hu main shikshika hu you can place your occupation or your profession here in this part and you can say main for example if you're an it engineer main it engineer hu if you're a housewife you can say main housewife hu so even if you don't know the hindi word for those terms you can just use the english term here because right now our purpose is to frame a sentence and it should be a meaningful one right third sentence main acha achhi hu main acha achhi hu so acha means good and achhi also means good now this is an adjective which has three forms now here on this slide you can see two forms i'll come to third form later on for now just know that if you're talking about yourself and if you're a male then you go for acha so this last sound a that is a masculine sound and here this last letter denotes e e sound which is a feminine sound so i'll say main achhi hu if you're a guy you say 
मैं अच्छा हूँ इट मीन्स आई एम गुड आई एम फाइन नेक्स्ट मैं ठीक हूँ मैं ठीक हूँ ठीक वर्ड मीन्स फाइन ओके द फर्स्ट फर्स्ट सेंटेंसेस बिगैन विद मैं एंड एंडेड विद हूँ नाउ लेट्स लुक एट हम वी आर वॉट कैन वी से विद वी आर सो ह्योर आई हैव रिटर्न एन एग्जाम्पल विच गोज हम भारतीय हैं हम भारतीय हैं भारतीय मीन्स इंडियन इट कम्स फ्रॉम द वर्ड भारत भारत इज इंडिया इन हिंदी भारत एंड भारतीय मीन्स इंडियंस इंडियन सो वी आर इंडियंस वी आर इंडियंस हम भारतीय हैं नाउ नेक्स्ट सेंटेंस बिगिन्स विद आप आप छात्र छात्रा हैं आप छात्र छात्रा हैं सो ह्योर आई एम स्पीकिंग अबाउट यू आई एम सेंग यू आर अ स्टूडेंट छात्र मीन्स मेल स्टूडेंट छात्रा मीन्स फीमेल स्टूडेंट छात्र छात्रा and finally let's look at the sentences addressing the third person so the first sentence is ye botal hai now what i am doing here is i am beginning my sentences with ye or wo and ending my sentences with hai or hai depending on the number of the object that is what i am talking about so the first example ye botal hai बोतल इज बॉटल द हिंदी वर्ड फॉर बॉटल इज बोतल ये बोतल है एंड यू कैन रिप्लेस अ वर्ड बोतल विद एनी थिंग इवन इफ यू डोंट नो द हिंदी वर्ड जस्ट रिप्लेस इट विद द इंग्लिश वर्ड यू शुड जस्ट बी एबल टू फ्रेम द सेंटेंस ये बोतल है ये बोतले हैं ये बोतलें बोतलें है बोतले मीन्स बॉटल्स द नेक्स्ट वो किताब है वो किताब है किताब मीन्स बुक वो किताब है दैट इज अ बुक दैट इज अ बुक वो किताबें हैं वो किताब ए किताबें हैं दोज आर बुक्स ऑल राइट आई होप दिस लेसन इज टर्निंग आउट टू बी मीनिंगफुल फॉर यू सो इफ यू आर इंजॉइंग एंड इफ यू फाइंड दिस हेल्पफुल प्लीज टू कंसिडर लाइकिंग दिस वीडियो एंड शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड स्टिक टिल द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो फॉर योर फर्स्ट टास्क लेट्स मूव ऑन विद द लेसन दीज आर ऑब्वियसली नॉट द ओनली क्वेश्चन वर्ड्स इन हिंदी बट फॉर नाउ फॉर दिस लेसन I am only going to stick to these two question words because considering you as a beginner I don't want to overwhelm you with a lot of information so I want to give you time to absorb the knowledge so today in the first lesson we are going to cover these two question words which are kya and kaise kya kaise kya means what kya what kaise how kaise how now let's look at some sentences as examples where you can use this question word kya so before i read these sentences i want to tell you that sometimes when you are unable to comprehend what the other person has said then you can simply ask kya with the interrogative tone kya which means what or even if um like in situations where you're surprised we are shocked you can say kya like that now the first sentence namaste aapka naam kya hai namaste aapka naam kya hai 
I'm sure some of you might be familiar with this sentence or even with a few words here and there. So this Namaste is a very common Indian greeting. Namaste means hello, hi. Namaste, aapka naam. Aapka naam means your name. Kya hai? What is? Hello, your name. What is? Hello, what is your name? Namaste, aapka naam. Kya hai? And the answer to this question can be, Mera naam firdos hai. Mera naam firdos hai. So two things here. Firstly, you'll change the pronouns. Obviously, if somebody is asking you, then the other person will use your, what is your name? And if you're answering, you'll change the pronoun accordingly. You'll say my name. So Mera means my. Mera naam firdos hai. And this word firdos, I mean my name firdos, I've placed this word in the same place where this kya is in the where this kya is in the question that means the easiest way to answer this question is to just replace kya with your name mera naam firdos hai let's look at second question ye kya hai ye kya hai Remember that ye means this. So this sentence means what is this? What is this? Ye kya hai? And once again in order to answer this question replace kya question word with your response. For instance, ye puma jacket hai. Or ye book hai. Or even, ye chair hai, anything, any object. Alright, and I'll suggest you to learn this question as well as the next one. Wo kya hai? Wo kya hai? What is that? What is this? What is that? Ye kya hai and wo kya hai? These two questions are going to help you a lot in order to build vocabulary so wo kya hai wo garam masala hai wo garam masala hai so garam masala it is a blend of spices wo garam masala hai let's look at the second question word kaise kaise aap kaise hain Aap kaise hain? When you converse with somebody and you want to know how that person is, you ask, how are you? So the question is, aap kaise hain? You, how are? Aap kaise hain? And the answer to that can be, Main thik hoon. Main thik hoon. I am fine. So if somebody else is asking you, Aap kaise hain? You can say, Main thik hoon. Or you may say, Main achha, achhi hoon. I'll say, Main achhi hoon. If you're a guy, you'll say, Main achha hoon. Means, I am good. I am great. Second question, Ye kaisa Kaisi hai? Kaisa is for masculine and kaisi is for feminine which brings me to another point in Hindi which is there is no neuter gender in Hindi. Every object has a gender. That is every word in Hindi, every word for every object has a gender. So it's either masculine or feminine. So if an object is masculine, you say kaisa. If an object is feminine, you speak kaisi. Ye kaisa hai? The answer can be Ye acha hai. How is this? This is good. Ye kaisi hai? Ye achi hai. 
how is this this is good so once again the meanings don't change you just choose the right form according to the gender of the object ये सुंदर है दिस कैन बी अनदर रिस्पॉन्स टू ये कैसा है और ये कैसी है ये सुंदर है मीन्स दिस इज ब्यूटिफुल सुंदर मीन्स ब्यूटिफुल ये सुंदर है एंड इट्स द ओनली फॉर्म सुंदर हैज़ नो अदर फॉर्म और द थर्ड काइंड ऑफ रिस्पॉन्स कैन बी ये बढ़िया है ये बढ़िया बढ़िया ये बढ़िया है मीन्स दिस इज ग्रेट दिस इज फैंटास्टिक बढ़िया कैन मीन ग्रेट फैंटास्टिक लवली वंडरफुल एंड वर्ड्स लाइक दिस सो दीज टू क्वेश्चन ये कैसा है और ये कैसी है एंड दिस वो कैसा है और वो कैसी है दीज टू क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्ड इन कॉन्टेक्स वेर यू वॉन्ट टू नो हाउ दिस इज और हाउ दैट इज so if you're talking about food or even about a dress or any random object if you want to know if you want to ask the other person how is this how is that then you can simply ask these two questions and finally we come to the end of the lesson after looking at and knowing the pronouns the corresponding verb forms and some examples in hindi this is your task now These are some English sentences and I want you to speak these in Hindi. Before attempting these sentences please revise from the beginning till here whatever you have learned and then attempt this. Try speaking these sentences in Hindi but don't forget to write down your answers in the comment section below. I would love to read them. I'll see you in the next lesson. Until then take care. Bye bye. Namaste.